Hello everybody, what's going on? This is uh, iTest Web Browsers here, and uh, today we're going to be testing out the Brave Web Browser. So uh, a little bit about Brave before we get started. If you go to brave.com, uh, this is their site, and uh, yeah, it's built using Electron. So Electron is a uh, desktop application built with uh, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. Um, it's really recent technology. It's really built for developers. And uh, Brave just, it seems like a fast and safe web browser. So uh, yeah, it automatically blocks ads, trackers, and makes it lightning fast. Um, so let's get started. So first, you're going to hit this Get Brave button. And it's going to launch a download in your, uh, your downloads folder. And for Mac, you're going to just open this damage file. And uh, you know it's going to check it, it's going to verify it, finish it. You're going to drag it into your applications folder like so. And we're going to just replace. And copying over now. And uh, we're going to close this up and we can get rid of this Safari because uh, we're going to be using Brave now. And open it up, give her, give her a go. So it's starting up now, verifying, perfect. Application, we're gonna open it. We, we're, we're gonna trust this one. Here we go. Let's use it. Let's use it. Yeah. HTTPS upgrades, estimated time saved, ads blocked, trackers blocked. Cool. So let's just start by using some really popular websites. Um, let's go to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Let's go to Apple. Let's go to, uh, let's just start with these. Twitter.com dash brave. Wow. 13,000 followers. Looking nice, looking nice. I don't see any ads, any native ads. There's nothing here. What about if we go just make a Google doc, dot com search and uh, let's just search for web browser. No, we're not gonna allow that. Okay, so there's still advertisements here, so it's not completely ad free. Let's go to just reddit.com, a popular website. Um, and there's no ad here, so that's working. Um, it is very fast, it's actually faster than Safari. I uh, typically use Safari on this Mac. Um, yeah, one second load time. Let's go to youtube.com. Long, long loading website. The image itself took a while. Let's see our stats. 12 trackers blocked, 2 ads blocked, 11 upgrades, 1 second time saved. So it even tells you how much time you saved by using this browser. I'm sure that adds up to quite a lot of time. Um, yeah, this isn't, the search bar doesn't seem to be working. Long loading website. Long loading website. Yeah, so, um,. This doesn't seem to be working, actually. The, the search toolbar up here. Um, am I connected to the internet? Yeah, so I'm connected to the internet. It doesn't seem like Google seems to be working, though. Um, what about Bing? It might be because I... Uh, well, no, Bing, Bing doesn't seem to be working, either. Um, See not now. Let's go here. Search his hashtag. Okay. Okay, let's close it up. Let's open it again. Maybe uh maybe I just need to refresh or restart it. Maybe restarting it will help us here. And command Q does not close it um like it should. There we go. All right, let's open it one more time. Give it a go. Let's see if Google will work this time. There we go. I don't know what that was about. Long loading website. 
Let's just allow for now. Um, let's see. Let's see. Eliminate. Okay. Yeah, so all in all, I would say this is a pretty good web browser. It seems to load pages really quickly. It, uh, let's see if Google works. Yeah, the the um, actual backdrop image here actually takes a little while. Let's take a look at some of these preferences. So Brave starts with my window dash tabs from last so we can change this to home page or a new tab let's just do that um, a new tab shows the dashboard yeah I like the the dashboard actually looks pretty sweet um, I think it is it I think it loads a different image maybe not every time but I think it has yeah it has like a, probably a, a few different images here for the background to load whenever you open up a new tab or open up a new browser window which is pretty sweet. We got the San Francisco skyline here. All these photos are by, uh, at least a couple of them are by this Durrell. And it seems like it's a slideshow that goes in the background. That's a sweet little animation there. What's this about? What do you got to say? Oh, so a sight shield. Okay. Yeah, so you can actually control um, viewing these ads. You can see Brave ads probably to support um, Brave, the developers. You can block third-party cookies, which is perfect. Um, you can take them down. You can take all of this down. Um, block phishing and malware. Fingerprinting protection. What's this? What's what's this about? Oh, GitHub. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's not too fast. It's honestly even a little. Oh, okay. So you can. Just quickly view these tabs when you uh oh and it seems like it's just a live update okay uh, that's cool anyways this is black for some reason I'm not sure why this is black but okay anyways let's see it might break some links best effort defense against browser fingerprinting um yeah okay I mean it seems cool Block scripts. Uh, is it JavaScript? I don't know. Anyways, uh, we don't want to do that. Edit default. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. What is this? Why are these folders? Folder icons. Okay, so let's do this. It's a Tumblr. Awesome. Uh, we don't really need to go there. Let's just keep looking at this browser. Alright, so we have a new tab, new private tab with some short keys here, new window, new session. Uh, bookmarks, shields, which is just that. Um, Brave payments. What is Brave payments? Oh, they have an about section. That's that's perfect. Let's see. Private internet access. They have some partners. Bitgo, Coinbase. So they have their own Bitcoin wallet. Um, Brave has created a simple way for you to contribute to the sites you use most. Okay. To begin using Brave Payments, simply flip the switch. Brave Payments allows publishers to stay in business even though you may have blocked their advertisements. Oh, okay, so so people who have a website like um, just like any WordPress website, I guess they could, uh, you know, they, they typically make their revenue from advertisements, and uh, by blocking advertisements through Brave. You know they're not going to make any more money, so this would allow you through Brave to connect to their website and send a payment over to them. That's that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, you you know you can still pay people, but you're not doing it through advertisements. That's actually awesome. Plugin settings enable Adobe Flash support. Um, as by default turned off, doesn't even seem like you can turn it on. Uh, okay, Google Wide Vine support. Okay, um, awesome. Advanced content settings. Use hardware acceleration when available. Enable smooth scrolling. I like smooth scrolling. It's actually yeah. Let's restart that. Let's get some smooth scroll action on here. Actually, uh, launch it twice. Anyways, this is a little um, tool I'm using to uh, display what keys I'm pressing. If I do like command up for example you know it's pretty cool so two seconds time save now that's that's 
That's spectacular, actually. It tells me the time right here, so I don't have to like go up here. That's awesome. Oh, my computer's almost dead. Hang on. Let me plug this back in. Yeah, see, a lot of these are by just Darrow Sena. He's a great photographer. All right, let's go back here now. Um, so yeah, so we have, let's go back to the about page. Okay, so just version information, just the name, um, OS, operating system arc, 64. Um, okay, so a little bit of information about my desktop, it seems like. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Let's see, V8, it says Google Chrome's V8 engine. Okay, yeah, that's uh okay, so let's just source it by top to bottom, okay. Yeah, cool. Um yeah, that's uh, I'm sure there's a lot more to this whole thing. Some bookmark a bookmark manager, that's sweet. Um a history page so you can you know, clear your browsing history, clear your history, download, cache images, uh you can clear cache, save passwords, cookies, auto complete, autofill, and uh permissions and settings. Okay, yeah, so um you know I'm sure there's there's a lot more functionality here. I mean you can use the Amazon search engine. So I think if you go here and then you do A A Wait, how do you So if we do uh I want a toy. Oh, that's sweet. That's awesome. So if you do um, this this colon and then the character afterwards. So if we do colon D, this is going to search through DuckDuckGo. And the DuckDuckGo is actually a, a um, very secure web browser. It doesn't sell your data. All right. So let's do D. Let's do a secure search engine. Oh, okay, so if you enter twice, then it will secure search engine. Don't hit, don't hit enter twice, guys. 33, a third of a second. It's pretty nice. Yeah, so I don't know. Um, the only concern I have is... Let's try to drop this and see what happens. Yeah, the only concern I really have with this browser is... Uh, is this something something doesn't work with the search engines it seems like because you know every single yeah there's no advertisements here it's just grand let's go to like cnn.com and see what this looks like yeah it's not even gonna oh yeah this is just this is this website is spectacularly horrible when it comes to advertisements I mean you just go to this site it's got like a little banner that comes out let's go to Forbes yeah look at this look at this look at this. look at this 18 ads and trackers block that's just ridiculous all right let's go to Forbes now yeah we can just close that um, now right off the bat seven let's go to like a just your standard um, just, just article. Uh, look at all these guys. Probably celebrating for something. Yeah, eight. So yeah, it's actually. Let's see what happens now. Um, five seconds. That's. I mean, five seconds isn't a lot of time, but you know, you keep using this thing, it's gonna, it's gonna add up. Um. So yeah, this is uh Brave. It's I really enjoyed using this this browser. It seems like it would be a pretty secure. I mean, 68 trackers blocks just after, you know, just a few websites that I went to, just a handful of websites, 68 blockers or trackers blocked, 16 ads blocked, um, a lot of upgrades for HTTPS and 5 seconds saved. That's that's within I don't know, maybe 10 minutes of using this browser so you know for every hour what that's that's uh 
that's 30 second save for an hour so you know it's not bad o overall um, I, I would recommend using this over your traditional browsers it's pretty fast as well I mean let's just go to Twitter yeah, it's, it's pretty fast too I mean you don't have to install any advertisement blockers plugins or anything like that um, so yeah guys I recommend checking it out